take it, take it like a man. They might yell. Your kids might <laughs> drop some bombs. Well, Big Fred is already but... taking it like a man. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> And welcome, welcome back, back to, to the, the channel. channel. I'm Tisha. Melvin. And this is TMI. Tisha and Melvin's insight. Get it? TMI. Anyway, today we have another great one for you guys. This one is really a little bit um yeah sensitive, but we're gonna share it with you guys nonetheless. So you wanna read it or should I read it? You. So this is the story. Dear TMI, I'm embarrassed to say this, but I need your insight. I've been married for 16 years to a fantastic woman, and we have three children together. While I love and have the utmost respect for my wife, I am no longer in love with her. In fact, I'm in love with someone else, my best friend, my male best friend. He is tired of keeping our love a secret, and I don't blame him. It's time for him and I to officially start our lives together. And in a month's time, we plan to move to Argentina to build our lives. The problem is, I don't know how to reveal it to my family. I don't wanna face them. So I was thinking to just leave without saying anything or maybe leave a letter. I don't know what to do. Will that be taking it too far? How far is too far? How far is too far? Far. Oh, and it's signed Big Fred. <laughs> so, what do you think about this? So, this is a, <clears throat> the story about the guy who was about to leave his family without saying. Yeah, he, he doesn't want to face them because basically, from the letter, his family has been really good to him. Even his wife, she's been really good to him, but he is no longer in love and he wants to move on. But he doesn't want to hurt them either, so... I don't know. <laughs> I think in this case, he would just... Um, he should talk to his, his wife. In person. That's what I think. Yeah, this one is really touchy because, I mean... We can look at it from so many different aspects. Like, the family. Are you checking your glasses on the recorded? Yeah. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so um, this one is really kind of touchy because there's so many people involved in this thing. It's not just about what he feels and what he wants. It's not just about what his best friend slash boyfriend feels or wants. It's not just about what the wife wants. They all, they all, they also have children involved in this. So the thing is, okay, look at it this way, okay? So obviously, he, he, he's a gay man, or at the very least a bisexual man. The, there, there's so much to consider, because they've been married for 16 years. Did he know he was gay or bisexual before getting married? And if so, why did he get married knowing that? And if not, like, when did this come about? And isn't it something he should discuss with his wife before even you know, making this decision. But uh, not necessarily, I don't agree, because maybe he was all straight, I believe. And then um, as, as things progressed, maybe he started feeling for me. I don't know, I'm not sure. So, because um, I think maybe, honestly, if he felt some kind of way that he was interested in me, but like, real sure about it, he would not have uh, gotten married or maybe w even though he was very he was he would not have tried to have kids so maybe to the point that he had kids is that you know so but then uh, you can't even say that because there's so many men that before getting married knew that they were into men but because of i guess societal pressures pressure and stuff they family. got married yeah and getting married like they feel response like a responsibility to have a family and then the thing is being gay doesn't mean you don't want kids. They want kids, but... But so, you can always adopt kids as a gay couple. So, no, but they want, if so, they want their own biological so kids, we, right? But the thing also is we should think that um, maybe he used it indeed as a cover. Yeah. 
like to get married to a woman just to cover it all up but now well the thing is he's he's traveling to Argentina I believe mm -hmm. so um so he yeah. just wants to up leave and not say anything it's like you wake up one morning where's my husband <laughs> like he's gone or maybe you well, i don't know if he's saying, maybe he's just saying i'm going on a, a trip or on vacation or whatever and never comes back he got but lost kids, at sea <laughs> but those kids those poor kids um, yeah and that's the thing because they didn't mention like the ages of the children but they have been together for 16 years so let's just imagine at the very least if everything was a perfect world say the oldest kid is like 15 yeah but <clears throat> no matter what age these kids are even if they were grown-up kids and you know independent um, the fact is that your father just is about to walk out on you, you know? yeah. that's unbearable and then the thing is he will leave and probably will not be involved in their life because he's going to Argentina so uh, I think every child, especially females, that, that, you know, they want their father in their life. Yeah. We don't know if they're married yet, but like he's thinking about a wedding, so then they have to go and kind of like search for the dad again. So it is, yeah. it is a tragedy. So it, it's a, it's it's really difficult. Like I would want to say, like above all, you have to think about the children like you brought these little lives into the world so you have a responsibility to them before yourself but everybody doesn't think that way people may think that oh me being happy will lead to my children being happy because they'll have a happy dad in their life so mm -hmm. some people do like, think like that though. but yeah this will never go like that because which is true because the damage like to see your your father just walk out and go with somebody honestly i think the the idea of not saying anything at all and just up and leave that's ridiculous first of all so what's okay. his name he big just said fred. big fred <laughs> so big fred I, I think the best move is to find a way to talk to your wife and i think one of the best ways would be look for somebody who a third person either a therapist yeah. like you go like, like a ther yeah, therapist and have and just let them know what you're about to do and let them mediate like let them tell your wife in your presence you don't have to speak if you don't have the courage and let them tell your wife and then then her response won't be as bad because there's a third person there Hopefully. and well even if but then Tears at least you didn't say it <laughs> But I think just to write a letter, leave it, and then just go about your business. I think that's personally that's not the way to do it. And because there are kids involved, even if there weren't any kids involved, it's about respect. Like yeah, you, if you have self-respect, yeah. self-respect, yeah, you face it no matter how hard it is. At least you know that when you go, uh, you can always turn, look back, and say, "I did it right." Yeah, you did it the right. Because right. fact of the matter, like there's no getting around it. It will be painful for your wife. It will be painful for your children. There will be resentment. There will be anger. I'm sure, especially since the person you're leaving with is your best friend. So obviously he will had to have been around the family, right? So it will be like a shock. It will feel like a stab in the heart. Right. So, <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just thinking, big friend. So how suddenly you make a decision to just leave your family and go with whoever you're going well he said that the guy is tired of keeping their love a secret so mm. I don't know. let's let's delve into something here a little bit right not saying that extramarital affairs and stuff is right but let's just assume in a perfect world you you had this best friend before you got married and all that why didn't you guys start your stuff or whatever way back then and if you did why did you get married that's the, that's the one question i have for you no big but sometimes friend. but maybe the friend wasn't into big fred or maybe the friend but didn't then, even know he had those feelings but then this brings to brings me to another conclusion then how dare you as a friend this your friend is married he has a wife, he has kids, you're coming over to their house, hanging out. So now how dare you insert yourself into the situation and then now to the point of, no, oh, I'm tired of but keeping maybe, all of the secrets, maybe, the, Let's maybe go. Big Fred himself <laughs> was the one stalking the the, oh the, the, one, the friend and then maybe and then suddenly the friends start to get these feeling and then they wanna just 
the whole run situation. away together. Honestly, like it's easy for me to say that the entire situation is really <laughs> selfish <laughs> and ridiculous. Oh but God. I mean, people will feel how they feel. But if you decide to do something that is essentially a betrayal of trust, you should be big Fred enough to sit down with your wife, sit down with your family, and lay all the cards on the table and just talk about it. And be willing to answer whatever questions she has for you, because I mean, there will be questions. So, and this is what I'm thinking. If he either leaves a letter and leaves, or just disappear and never say anything, it will be the same pain as when he stays and confronts them and, then, and, th and talks about it. So no matter how you twist and turn it, big Fred, it will hurt. So exactly. just just get the get together. And I mean, I don't want to be disrespectful, but just the, the suggestions that you have, just leaving or leaving, like, it's very cowardly. You're being a coward because you're saying, I don't want to face them. So it's not that you're just being selfish and choosing to leave and live your life but then you're being selfish again of not even giving your family an, uh, an opportunity for closure for closure yeah, yeah. yeah so That's at the very least because i mean consenting adults you do whatever you want to do okay but at the very least you need to give your family the opportunity for closure sit down talk about it be man enough to answer whatever questions they have for you Take it, take it like a man. They might yell, your kids might <laughs> drop some bombs. Well, Fred is already but... taking it like a man. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, yeah, so guys, let us know what you think about Big Fred and his situation. Big Fred wants to just write the letter and leave it and just go, or he just want to disappear and never come back. Um, yeah. So let us know what you think in and the comment section down below. As you heard, our advice is that he should be man enough to sit down with his family and talk about it. If you have another suggestion, just drop it in the comment section down below. And to answer Big Fred's question, how far did you go? I think writing the letter and just disappear, that's way too far. So yeah, reel it in. <laughs> yep, just talk to your family and your kids. Hug it out and then see where it goes. Or slap from. it out. Because you might get slapped. Right? <laughs> <laughs> Turn the other cheek. <laughs> Good. Yeah, so thank you guys so much for watching this video. And remember... But he's without sin. He who is without sin, throw the first one. So guys, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Give the video a big fat thumbs up. And of course, leave your opinions and comments down below. And hit that notification bell so you won't miss any of our uploads. Thank you guys so much for watching once again. Bye-bye.